always have fun with science and the imagination station. Sarah Golch is here yeah. with magic milk. I didn't know milk could be magic. Absolutely. Explain it to me. This sounds exciting. All right. So um, I actually have a tray of water here. Okay. And water is clear, so it's hard it to see. So I'm actually putting um, a fine powder on top because we're going to talk about some different co science concepts today. And a lot of these are things that you could do at home with your kids. Oh, well, those are the best kinds. So, all right. Now that we've made a, a nice mess. Right. Um, I love, yeah, a good mess. That's how science works, right? <laughs> Um, this powder is actually hydrophobic, which means it doesn't like water. Okay. So it's actually just going to sit on top Won't here. mix along with it. Nope, it's Great. not going to dissolve, it's not going to sink, but what we're going to do is I'm actually going to give you a Q-tip that's got some detergent on the end. Okay, and I want so you like to, laundry detergent, uh, correct? Like or dish soap. Yeah. Dish soap, okay. Yeah. Just touch it right in the middle. Oh, this is going to be fun. Yep. Ha <laughs> ha! I have superpowers, guys. Or science can be kind of super. How, how did Absolutely. that happen? Absolutely. So what happens is we're actually using here. You don't have to hold on to that. Okay. Um, we're actually using the detergent to break the surface tension because we kind of have an imbalance on the surface um, because there's no water above our top layer to put some force on there. Okay. So it, it's a little imbalanced. Um, but using the detergent, it actually has an end that is hydrophilic. And hydrophobic, so one oh. end that loves water and one, one end that, that hates not so water. much. Yeah, so we're gonna Very actually neat. use that same process, but with milk now. Milk and some different colors. Yeah. Oh, so that was really cool. So this is gonna be, I'm sure, quite awesome. Absolutely. So go ahead and grab some food coloring, and we're just okay. gonna put a bunch of dots right in the center of your plate. And the reason we're using food coloring is because, like our water over there, when we um, when we break the surface tension of the milk, it's hard to see because it's opaque. Fair enough. So if we add some coloring, that makes it a little bit easier for us to see. But this is also a great opportunity to talk about some different science concepts with your kids. So you can talk about um, primary and secondary colors. You can talk about color mixing. Some good, good science here. Mini birds yeah. you're kind of getting here. I'm going to steal this from you. This. Oh, this is very cool. <laughs> All right. And maybe I should do like one more because yours, yours is prettier than mine right now. Oh, no, yours is beautiful too. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're actually going to use our Q-tip with our soap on the end. Our, so I'll let you do your wash. Yep. Okay, right here in the middle of the colors? Yep, plunge it right into the middle. Wow. And if you hold it there, what's happening is our, like I said, our detergent has that end that does not like water. So yeah. what it's doing is it's actually searching for all of the fat globules that are in this milk. In the milk. And it's attaching to that fat and it's causing the milk to kind of churn as it's moving around and searching for a good place to hide, essentially. Wow, to get away from all that yeah. water, which is hard to do in a container of milk. So let's wow, pull that but it's right just out. so beautiful. And um, wow, that initial kind of yeah. pop that's spreading right. is beautiful. So it's really fun and really easy. Like I said, probably things you have in your kitchen. We've got milk, food coloring, and some dish soap. Yeah, everybody has that. And even a pie pan, especially this time of year, you can start to dig those out for Thanksgiving. Dig them out for some science, too. Um, so, and you can try this with different variables. So maybe try different kinds of milk. This happens to be whole milk. Okay. But what if you tried skim milk or almond milk or... Right. Um, Messing with the fat Yeah, 2%. Too. Very cool. And see kind of how that changes the reaction that you get. Yeah, especially if the kids really love that, then it gives you an excuse to keep experimenting. Absolutely. Great. So what do we have over here? More colors. All right. One this more. This looks familiar too. You yes. might have this at home as well. Now this is like kind of the TV ready version, but I've just put down <laughs> <Fair> some... <enough. laughs> I put down some shaving cream. Put drops of food coloring That's on top beautiful. again. That's the prettiest shaving cream I've right? ever seen. And then we just use a skewer to kind of mix all that a together. Swirling. And we're actually going to marble our own paper. So I'm going to let you Ooh. press that paper right on the surface. Okay. Now our shaving cream also is hydrophilic and hydrophobic. So what's going to happen is it's going to pick up the dye. Okay, yep, go I ahead and peel second? it back. Ooh. Should I have to flip it over yep. here? And none of the water. And I'm actually just going to use a big squeegee. We'll take all of that off for you. How beautiful. And now, and your paper is essentially dry. Because yeah, it really we didn't is. pick up the water. That's amazing. That's a really cool way yeah. to make art. While and again, things. stuff you probably have at home. You can marble your own paper right before the holidays. It's a great indoor activity for those snowy days that are inevitable. They're on the way, right? <laughs> Oof, so true. But you guys have cool things at Imagination Station if you're kind of cooped up for too long in the house, right? Absolutely. What do you have going on there? So we're actually gearing up for Chemistry Weekend, which is just Ooh. in a couple of weeks. So check out our website for all of the details. Mm -hmm. And that's imaginationstationtoledo.org. Um, but we also have family workshops that you can come and do on the weekend in our think tank space and um, all kinds of fun stuff coming up for the holidays. So definitely 
look at the calendar, right. start planning. We've got everything that you need. Imagination Station <laughs> yes. always got you covered if you want to have fun and be a little science-based too. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Sarah. You're welcome. All right, well, we'll have more WTO 11 your day in just a moment. Stay with us.